Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to Minecraft with me and Aurora. Uh, we're playing right now to check out the town and just see what all is going on. There's a lot of work that's been done. I have a small house here. I'm in the basement of it now, but as soon as I pop out, you're going to see all the work that's been done by Aurora and some of his friends. Not much of it was done by me. I mostly focused on my house. But there's a lot of progress that's going to be made throughout the series, and we're going to take you on a tour now. Lead the way, Aurora. Indeed. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, the uh oh, it's pretty. I've been smacked. Hit you with the walking stick. <laughs> Hit you with the walking stick. Um, that's that's gonna be. I'm gonna work on that for later stuff. It's gonna be like two really big buildings that are gonna go over there, like a town hall or maybe a library or something. Nice. Uh, this this is also gonna be the blue intermittent pattern. Uh, it's part of the blue path. Oh, I like the lanterns. Um, yes, the lanterns are so nice. The nether portal's over here with um, a mine, the mine entrance. That's oh, wow. It's been, a, it's been a while. Oh, I'm right behind you. It's been a while since I've uh, okay. seen our starting area. Yeah, right, when we first started out. That, so, that's where the nether portal is, so... Come back over towards your house. Boing. We're just going to cut through the trees. Dip, dive, duck, dodge, and dive. And that's my five career. Ds of weight that's demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my pretty little house. I love it. Yep. Yes, it's actually really nice. This is what's left of your farm. It's not here. bad. I like it. I'm, I moved your wheat farm, by the way, because it was in the way of the path, so I kind of... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble with that to start yeah. out with because it seemed to be in the way of the house, and then it was in the way of this and that, and it just happened to be in the way yeah, of so everything. I just moved it over. <laughs> well, see, this is the tower I just built. It doesn't have. I didn't put glass windows in it yet, but I mean, it's not furnished yet either. So there's no doors, no, not really anything in there. You just get just lantern stands, and that's about it. There's a balcony next door to the library, um, and then the storage area, and then you can come up and you can get a nice view over the lake up here. It's kind of why I wanted to build this, because I moved the wheat section here over to the farm, which you can see from here too. Nice. That's and a lot of work you get a building. Nice view. <laughs> yeah, so there's going to be a lot more work being done towards the lake area, but, um, yeah, I need to get some food real quick. Um, mm. Let's just go to the storage area real quick. Nice, and most of this is just you. Yeah, a lot of it's just me dicking around and watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, my friends come on and we do a lot of like the stuff, like the big builds, like the like the storage unit over here, or uh, help me get resources so I can do it on my own. Where you at? There you are. Hello. Let's go in the storage area real quick. I need to get me some food. I got some food cooking in here. Oh wow. Ah, Your character just it? zipped away. Yeah, I know. I'm lagging. Give me a second. Same here. I'm I'm waiting for the I, I can open doors manually, but for some reason triggers just don't work. Like the door triggers. So it's, yet. it's like a... It's pretty looking. Ah. It'll, it's going to do something cool later. I don't know what. 
I just wanted to do something cool. All right. I've lanternified everything, if you didn't notice. Yeah, I love, <laughs> I love the lanterns. Lanterns for days. And then you get up here, and then I kind of started work on the top floor. Not really. I finished the window here and didn't do the other three sides. Still looks good to me. Yeah, right. You got the clock tower face. Did y'all find a villager? And he's like over there with llamas? No, that's, that's, uh, we'll go over there later. That's a, uh, trade, villager trader. He just happened to spawn up there because it's a flat enough area, surprisingly enough. Dude, that is amazingly good. Every now and again, it'll pop to this, like the fourth or fifth one that's come through this area. <clears throat> that's cool. They, they're, they're surprisingly more common than I thought, so. They, they fall, they, I think the system has them generate near you rather than wild ah yeah because back in the old days um back in the old days if you couldn't find a village at all the only way to really hope for a villager was to have a random yeah, zombie a yeah a random zombie villager just spawn up as a zombie and then cure him which curing them is it, yeah. it it's a chore it's a pain in the ass yeah, yeah it really is this but there's a trophy for it it's right here indeed Yes, the, the white road for the market area. Um, this is the quarry. We'll go down there a little later. <laughs> Sweet. We'll, we'll do that last. Um, this, is gonna, this is the red road back down in front of the tower down there. Um, and the library. So it's, it's going to be like the main street. Um, library is still being furnished slowly. We have a lectern. Oh yeah, I heard about so those coming in. We can place it and we can both read it while nice. it's open. Um, and then this is this is going to be also furnished the rest of the way. We've slowly started to come around the corners now. Um, you got the enchantment area, all that goodies. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes. So much love, many well. It's an enchanting area. We all know what that looks like. Um, the first house. Um, I don't know what you know what this looks like, but your viewers don't. Indeed. Um, just, just the first island we started on. We went from that where the nether portal was to here, and then we built this. The two of us built this um, house. It's pretty. Yes. Yeah, I remember. It's, it's empty now because I've moved. Oh, I've moved out for the most part. I used it for um, like special. Uh, like I use it for diamond storage and special items like uh, discs and stuff like that. Now, well, as you go on, I. Uh huh. As you go on, I noticed something new that I had never seen before. Is that an actual? That's an actual working chimney out there. Oh, it's the campfire. So I. Oh wow. I freaking love that. Yeah, I'll show you the campfire here in a minute. It's pretty cool, and it's really cheap to make. That is awesome. Some wood and coal. So the original bed's up here, and then the, the, the attic area with balcony access. And again, gorgeous views. I know, right? Right over the lake. Right? That is so cool. I love that. Also, I started, I'm going to be moving that, turning that into a river over there. A lot of this is all just hand terrain. Um, the lake was spawned in. We're going to, we're still kind of slowly, every time we need sand, we work on digging up the lake a little more, a little more, and a little more. Ah. Anytime we need sand. And it lasts like five minutes. <laughs> wow. As I turn it all into concrete. But now I got stacks of concrete, so it's quite nice. Oh, yeah, usually sand is like, boom, glass. <laughs> I know, right? But it's concrete is what we're going for. Um, well, yeah, also... Bridge, all that fun stuff. You can ride under it with a boat. Yeah, yada, yada. Nice. Um, what I've also been interested in is, um, your friend's name is Dustin, is it? Yeah, it's Dustin. Sweet. 
Um, I was um, watching some of his videos, and he plays some of the Minecraft mini games uh, with him and sometimes yeah. one of his brothers. We could try uh, playing with him on those mini games too. That'd be fun. That would definitely be fun. That'd be something we could do as a as a thing. Indeed. Saturday night, Saturday night Minecraft. Something like that. Right. Um, I know you've already seen the market and the clock tower. Let's head over to the farm over on the blue line. Cool, cool. I, I started doing this because it's starting to get kind of big and eventually it's going to start getting confusing. So if you just remember what lines are what, you can start finding your way around. Uh, Plus I have a bunch of sheep that I can die. Um, this is so the wheat farm. After I move the sheep, which I just haven't done yet, um, it's gonna go here. Nice. Well, you gotta admit, if you've got a town big enough to the point where it gets confusing and you have to add actual paths with like, like you know, yeah, signs on them, that's stuff, that's yeah. a that's a good town. <laughs> yes, and it's it's only gonna get bigger, and then there's gonna be roadways connecting to other cities. And we'll have to start a uh, uh, halfway point, and then an ocean point, and then we'll also just make nether portals going out there. Just do another hub shortcut. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but we still need to find a nether fortress, because we need blaze rods and all that fun stuff that you get from nether fortresses. <laughs> um, the farmhouse is kind of cute inside. Oh, on the loft. It is cute. And you said we. Is and there's like storage under the loft with a cute little window out the back. So oh. Nice. Yeah. It's very uh, safe in the village. Very safe. Right. I haven't put walls yet because for most part I did want to. Um, I want to I want to expand more before I decide to put walls in. Uh, this is the campfire, by the way, without the wool, without the without the without the um, hay bale. I see and that. So that's why the other one's so tall because it has the hay bale underneath, and so the smoke goes super tall. So okay. this is what it looks like on its own, just sitting on the ground. But I mean, you can do. Looks this. looks awesome to me. Shoot. Do it right. You're right, it's not there it goes. Yes, yeah, so see it goes through half slab. I see that. And it doesn't burn them either. No, it doesn't. Oh, it goes through whole blocks too. No, it doesn't? Does it? No. Ah. Then we can do this, and you can cap it, and you can do things like tents, and you can do stuff like that, see? Oh, okay. Nice. You make it look like a kitchen where it's going into the hood vent, you know? Nice. Smoke em peace pipe. <laughs> you could freaking do a hot box. The bar, it's almost done. Um, it just needs a little bit more uh, thatching in the corner over here, and then the horse will get set up up on some thatching himself. Um, this is the stables mm. part of the barn. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Don't you love it? Gotta love it. And then just up here is just kind of storage-ish, I guess, area for the, the silo. Indeed. And there's room under the staircase as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the barn. Freaking um, sweet. We follow the blue path this way. Um, well, you see how we're doing these railings here? Uh-huh. Along the, along the pathway, it's kind of the goal. Uh, around the town, and then we've got this one here. We're down in the courtyard to the to the to the storage housing area, um, which is pretty cool. Um, back yeah. that way is the hut to the uh, to the Ooh. skeleton uh, farm. Nice. There's a little pathway through the woods if you wanted to follow that. It's got this. You just follow some of the pathway blocks. Um, over here, we've really just got a lot of pathways just circling about for us to put in a lot of buildings. But um, we've finished up the blue line. We're back down here. Sweet. So I you. 
Nope, I'm good. Okay, come on down here. You can see you got this nice little. This is the overhang from above. Oh, so, upside down stairs. Down in here. Yeah. That actually looks really cool. I've it's never really seen. Nice I've, I've never seen so anyone do that. Uh, and granite, and um, the other one. Um. Ooh, uh, the other, uh, not new one, but recent one. Andesite, granite. Ooh, I can almost remember the name of it. Not, not gravel. We could probably go rock. No. Eh, there it's right. all good. The white one. Oh, the white oh, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we can see over there is the white line with the, with the... Again with the, uh, the the shopping district, which I want to put villagers in. Yeah, we just uh, we'll need one more, and then once we start trading with them, they'll start breeding. Yes. Well, they'll breed if they can come into contact with each other. Oh yeah, they got to be close enough. It's weird because yes, like so if if you. The white line here. Uh huh. Right. And so, this this kind of like splitting pathway is kind of cute here. This one is just saying it's this is kind of like a drive for this big gigantic ginormous building here. Let's uh let's not go in here real quick though. Let's uh, go look at the two little huts up first though. Okie dokie. And the one in progress that I just started building a little while ago. So. Right here, we got hut A. Uh huh. Go inside. I used a bell frame for the roof here. I see. Very nice. Kind of very peaked roof, vaulted ceilings, all that fun stuff. I love it. And then no windows properly put in yet on it. But if you go in, in uh, hut B. Nice. See that if you go up here, there's more room than in the other one. This uh -huh. is less of a vaulted ceiling. And then this one has a little um, seating deck area you can do things with. I see. And then this is the one I'm currently working on. It's another house. Ah. It kind of has the, um, you remember the, uh, like, you know, the default built. Watch the creeper behind you. I'm looking for my arrows. Bam! Start smacking each other. Right? Whoopsie! Uh, yeah, it's kind of got that nice mojang -y feel to it, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, you remember the default um, village uh, yeah, that's kind of what church. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like the church. And then you design it to make it look cooler. Nice. You know, way back in the that's day when finished. I first... Yeah, right, right. Way back in the day when I first started, <laughs> I used to um, I used to go into creative mode and try to test out build ideas to see if they would actually work out, and um, like I I never could get anything really that successful, really that nice looking. But that's really impressive. I like what you've done. Curse you, zombie flesh! I don't need you. Yep, yep, that's true. You did all the parking, you placed every single block on your house, and you designed it yourself. I just gave you the tutorial on the building system. True. I've got a, uh, what do you call it, potential. I do have my, uh, I do still, uh, I do still have my bow. I just don't have any arrows for it. I need to get more arrows. It is <laughs> power two, punch one, so it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. I always wanted a, bur uh, a bow with, um, what's it called for bows? Fire Aspect? Yes. I love Fire Aspect. Could be some meat with an arrow. Oh, you're following the little posts for the, for the pathway. Yeah, I saw that chest out there. I was going to go raid it. Oh, no! Oh, oh, God! Baby what zombie! The Baby zombie! What the fuck? Baby zombie was sitting on adult zombie's head. Woo! 
glad creature creeping is turned I off. I was looking at the zombie while I was hit it, and I'm like, Oh yeah, because I mean, you know, the baby zombies riding chickens, that's bad enough. You know, right? I think that's cute though, baby zombies riding chickens. It is. Um, it's pretty cute. This line today that lines up. I'm mo oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw mobs and I, I started slaying. I love it. Yeah, because it gives you an idea for the layout of the village so that you know what to build next and how far it needs to expand. Yeah. That way, yeah. it kind of um, it kind of makes it so that you don't take on too much at once and then get all frustrated. Yeah. You just do it in little square sections and then you just keep going with it. Because that's um uh, that's I actually. <laughs> Sweet, because that's actually what I did. The one, really, the really what? This guy here, this really humongous one. Oh wow! I love the overhang. That is my favorite. I know, right? I mean, you can. It's pretty, but um, that's actually one of the things that happened to me. Um, you know, about a year or two ago, I wanted to make a. Not necessarily a challenge, well, I guess you could call it a challenge map, but kind of like a dungeon, and um, challenge players to actually defeat the dungeon. I made it in, I started it in creative mode, but I could never finish it because the project was so massive that I wound up frustrating myself with it. <laughs> it's one of those things where you gotta use commands. Yeah, pretty All much. Right, we're going in this big one here. Alright, just right off the bat, we got like these. Uh, double pane windows, different than a lot of the builds. Yeah. Simple, you know, yeah, double because it's, yeah. Um, you can see the pathway below. Oh yeah. Kind of thing. Still a very good uh, view. You got this area. You got this hallway down here, which is another just section of the house, and then the main staircase goes to the basement. Uh -huh. Which is kind of this zigzag pattern, like the shape of the house. And then the staircase goes up to the second floor, just continuously like that. Quite nice. Nice streamlined, kind of worked out. This is a loom. It's Ooh. one of the new blocks. Huh. It, it allows you to make banners. To make what? Without having to, You can still make banners in a crafting table, but with the loom, it just makes it easier and you can make whatever you want. It gives you the... <clears throat> templates and you can make a lot of cool stuff and then you layer that like crazy and you can make some really insane designs. Oh wow, I had actually yeah, never like, seen that yeah, before. Like, yeah, Loom just came out, but banners have been around for a good minute. I can't remember when they came out. True. Uh, I knew I knew about the banners. I knew about the banners, but I'd never seen all those inter like the different designs. We're yeah. all of the, uh... Oh, no. That's like, like this guy here. Okay. All of the designs on the... The emerald above means he's occupied, but... Click him. Okay. Ooh, yeah. neat. Yeah. Interesting, right? He's a wandering trader, so I don't know if he breeds or not, but he, he'll just... Different ones will wander in and stuff or spawn in and near your area. But I have such a flat area up here. The sucker spawned in up here and can't get out. Wow. Did the uh, did the llamas do the llamas spawn in with him? Wow, they spawn in with him. That's crazy. That's so cool. What does he got? That's coral. Nothing really. At least not yet. Well, one thing I really like is that yeah. he's in um, he's in a super like safe area, so I, I wouldn't doubt that it would be pretty easy to unlock all of his trades. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty easy to get emeralds, but we don't have any way to earn emeralds unless we 
also wanted to go find a Rolling Hills biome. Oh, yeah. Either that or start yeah. trading with yeah. other villagers. This big house, yeah, but we don't have villagers, which sucks. This, this, this dockway goes all the way over here and goes down here. Ready, ready, boop. I should make it. Ah. And then you come down here, it's kind of like this brick, slope, the brick area. You got this. Nice. And then you're underneath here. What wow. the hell is. What is. What is. What is. Hmm. <laughs> Lever. <laughs> I don't know why. Here. Arrows! Arrows. Yay. I picked up some, some thing of above. Yeah, I, uh, you, you killed that skeleton earlier that was attacking us. Oh yeah. Is it the one yeah, that uh, he designed and he requested like the um, what was it that like porch that looks like a pond? Yeah, I love that one. Show us that. Yeah, he he built that. He did that himself. I love it. He's got kelp. Um, in his house, which the entire house is set up, which is like is which is pretty cool. It's like two, three blocks high off the ground. Um, he just, he set up his personal chest system. All like that, which is pretty cool. And the ladder in the back, which you jump off the bed to get onto, takes you up to his cute little balcony over here. Nice. Hey, he's got a banner. Yeah, he's got a banner. He didn't really do anything to it. And this is his dog over here. It sits in the corner. Aww. You can die the collars. I didn't know that. That's new to me as well. I did yeah, notice it though. Blast nice. It was a fairly recent update. It's getting so. Uh, there is something here. So in this little alleyway here. Uh huh. He plans to. Here, let me do it. Here, you got. Let me. He plans to turn this area here. Into a basement. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty nice. I like it. Freaking sweet. I should make it my not necessarily objective, but one of the things that I think I'll be doing on the side, which I might have started on it already, is um, I, I'm gonna get my map and start looking for a village so that maybe we could get villagers to trade with. on this version. The maps suck. It's a good uh, way to keep track of like where players are to player ratio, but it's they're not very detailed as uh, in normal Minecraft. Okay, then I would only I be know. using it uh, to find my way back home then. Yes, basically. Um, actually, I don't map, even... I actually, I just uh, realized I don't even have to do that because I've got my X and Y coordinates right there. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. So I'm gonna be taking dirt and cutting this area off here. And nice. flattening it all out to water to the ground level here. I'm gonna cut off this section and flatten this all down and butt it up next to the hill. Nice, okay. nice. Close off any cave entrances that aren't that aren't intended. I was also gonna ask you, it's probably a stupid question. Is that new as well? Like how your character, when they swim, they look like they're actually swimming now? No, that's a sprint. That's a that's a thing that was last version. It's awesome. So if you look like this, so if you're walking along, it's like this, but you can sprint, so you can actually swim in the game. That's so cool. I love it. You can um in technically when now. Where's it? We don't have we don't have it in this version. But, um, the computer version, Java edition, uh -huh. um, you can crawl in one block's spaces and you can uh, crouch under a block and a half. Nice. By the way, um, I love these two chickens in this boat right now. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is hilarious. But you can't get in the boat now, because they got, they, they got the boat that 
themselves. Yeah, but uh, how did we wind up with chickens in a boat? <laughs> well, they wandered near it and they just hopped in. That is new. That is new. <laughs> that came out with a 1.13 update or 1.12. It's whenever they updated the boats. I think it's 1.12. Nice. I wish, um... Two people can ride in the boat. So, why can't two animals ride in the boat? Right? Or two mobs or two animals. I wish they would add, like, just, um, change the, uh, dynamics of TNT and make it lobable. I want a lob weapon. <laughs> Explosions. Like a, uh, a throwable version of TNT. <laughs> oh, you mean, um, there's potions that, that you can throw that will break on contact. And there's, like, potions of damage and potions of poison you can throw on people. Ah, well, I knew about the potions. I guess it's not, they it's... Break on impact. Ah. Yeah, it's not the same as an explosion, yeah. but, I heck, that'll do. That's good. Yeah, I always hated how, like, with the creeper explosions, it would make a huge hole of dirt, and you'd try to fill it back in, make everything look nice and everything, but you'd always be worried about. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's weird. I could have sworn I did earlier. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I didn't. It just continues to hurt you, so that's going to be pretty cool for adventure maps later on. Nice. Like, remember, we used to have the mod just to get something similar to this, and they're just like, oh, here, have this. Well, I think that's what gives them part of the ideas, is, you know, they see player mods, uh, uh, and they work on is, that. This is technically it's supposed to be the player's update. But it turned into the Village and Pillage update, so, I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna go find a bed. Same here. sleep the night. I, I agree. There's it's actually, it's actually a good spot to end off the episode. We're at about 35 minutes, so, with cutting, we'll be at about yeah, 30 minutes. Perfect. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Alright. <laughs> Damn it, can't sleep in the same bed. I tried. I'll sleep downstairs. You damn right, you better sleep downstairs. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. Nice. Hey, morning, no more rain. Indeed, indeed. Let's see, uh... Alright everybody, that's all the time I have left for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching the videos. I certainly enjoyed making them. If you have any helpful comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, take it easy, my friends. Say bye-bye, Aurora!